like it. Hey guys, this is Andrew from Andronica.com. I'm taking a look at an old friend with a new face. This is the T-Mobile Sidekick 4G. Uh, it's, you may have remembered the Sidekick from T-Mobile uh, in the past. When I was in high school, if you had one of these, you were the guy to know on campus. Now it's been reimagined as an Android phone. It's built in partnership with uh, Samsung, and it's completely different, but of course you've got that familiar, unique hinge for when you need to pop up the keyboard, and it's designed to be held in landscape. And because of that, you may notice uh, a few things different from your typical Android phone. So typically when you want to go to your the home screen, press the home button down here. But for this, they have the back button on the left and a menu button on the right. And that's because, like I said, it's designed to be held in landscape. So your home button is at the top over here and you've got your search button on the bottom. Of that. So when you're holding it in portrait, it may feel a little strange, but like I said, it's designed. Uh, the interface is a custom version of Android 2.2. You can see it here. There's a lot of things that they've changed. This is the Contacts app. We've got Contacts, History, updates from uh, friends. Like, let's say you uh, import your Twitter feed. You can see them here. You can probably do the same with Facebook. Now, let me go to the home screen real quick. And like I said, it is a T-Mobile phone, so you're going to get a lot of the T-Mobile's special features. Like, let me see if I can go to the screen. I had them on. There's several home screens that you can use. Oh, here we go. Uh, you got the media hub, you got quick video chat, there is a front facing camera. You've also got Wi-Fi calling uh, enabled by T-Mobile. And there's a couple of cool features that I saw. You can do what's called group texting. Like a lot of you may use Kick or Beluga or Ping Chat, whatever, to communicate with multiple people at one time. Uh, group Me is another one that's like that. Well, this comes with the phone, that feature built in. Uh, you, your friend doesn't have to have a sidekick to receive the group messages, but if the conversation is initiated from it, like right here, they're sending text messages to multiple people at one time, and lots of people are receiving them. You can compose them. You can add people to the group. It's, it's a really cool feature to have. Uh, another thing that they have is the theme chooser. Like I said, it's a very customized version of Android, and they have a little home screen theme chooser. You can quickly jump between the two. So before I had a red background, now I'm switching to this theme called Paper Lotus, and just like that, it changes. It's got my new uh, background. The bottom, here's the app store, and I can go about my business. Now those are the apps. Let's look, take another look at the hardware. Like I said, Sidekick flips open. That's tradition. Uh, the buttons are raised a little bit over uh, a nice solid metal background. You got your magenta button right there. And speaking of magenta, these come in two different colors. This one here is white. I believe there's another one that's magenta over here. Let me double check. Yeah, see. You get the option of which back you're going to have. You know, a little taste of style that they, they throw in there at the end. Uh, on the back, you've got a nice little camera. Uh, I'm not sure of the megapixels. I'm sure you can find that on the spec sheets. But what's cool is the feel of it. They've got these little raised bevel edges on the side. So when you are holding it in landscape, as so many people are likely to do, you're typing away really fast talking to your friends. It's going to rest comfortably on your hand and it's not going to jump out. The hinge is really cool. It feels solid. It feels sturdy, and this is a. If you're into sidekicks, this is something cool to have. Uh, if the sidekick was never much for you, whatever, it's it's just something worth checking out. But for the people that love that form factor, they love having uh, the little intuitive nature of it. This is something you should check out. Also, they've got a little optical scroll pad on the side, so when you want to, instead of that wheel that you were maybe familiar with, the big bulky one, they've got this light thin one that you can use. This one I'm not too excited about because when I'm browsing it doesn't respond as well because of the sides. Maybe because I have fat fingers, who knows. But whatever the case, this is the T-Mobile Sidekick 4G, available soon for T-Mobile. And this is Andrew from Adronica.com. See you guys soon.